Hello, I'm Rowan and this is my AC voltage generator. Now I made this project because I'm really interested in electrical engineering and I have done lots of research, watched lots of videos, but I haven't had any practical experience with it. Now, not too long ago, I saw this video by Tom Statton, um, I'll link him below, and, and I was really interested uh, by his video. He made a hand crank AC generator very similar to this, like it is basically identical. I modeled everything myself for this project um, with some inspiration from him. I did not reach as high of an output voltage as he did, um, but I would like to talk to you about my project today. Okay, welcome to my setup. This is my <clears throat> AC generator that I made with 3D prints and some copper wire and magnets. I'm gonna take this apart and show you the little the details. So these are the spools of copper. This is just a housing unit for my copper spools. I just made these like these spools here and I run ran copper around them. Um, and then I just sat them here and I glued them on and I press fitted a bearing into this housing unit and to increase the voltage as well, I connected all of these um, copper spools and series, which would um, add up all the voltage of these combined <clears throat> and then bring it out to my rectifier. During this project, there were some challenges I had to overcome. This magnet here, um, this is this magnet housing thing. I had some like neodymium magnets and the problem was is they sit in here just fine. They sit in here fine. I love like the press fit and it goes, oh, it's so great. Um, but this is a bearing, a metal bearing. And when you put it on, it um, kind of takes this magnet with it. If I can even take it off. Yeah, it takes, takes the magnet with it, which is not ideal. I put some spacers in, um, they didn't really help. That was one way I did I did to overcome some things. I also put, um, I will take this off. I put some um, spacers right in here. This is a spacer here, because as this was spinning, it would wobble back and it was running against these plastic pieces here and on the inside, it was just, it was just running over all this and it was really noisy and I did not want to keep that. So I put some spacers in and I, I extended this rod that helped a little bit. I made these tiny spacers and these were used to basically make it so this would not touch this, but I'm an idiot. <laughs> and so this goes on, right? And it, it only sits on this, which is kind of what I wanted this could still move <laughs> so it's not really doing much um so then i made these that are um thicker so then my magnet could sit in there and it wouldn't move it would it keep space and i just put this on too but that is like what i did to try to keep these in check but um of course it didn't work flawlessly future adjustment i can um, make this housing unit just larger and I can add more spacers and you see these like knobs here those are for mounting my copper wires and they have little holes in all these areas and they s slip in um, my crank is really goofy <laughs> but this is a 4.5 to 1 so this is threaded on the inside here and it screws on to this so I put this little knob here that little knob um, sits into this hole here. So when I, I can put that on and it sits in that hole and that turns it all together, which I didn't exactly have to do because this is press fit. Um, and as long as the shaft is turning, then it turns the gear. Another problem that I had is these gears here on my project um, are th threaded on there. This, this top one is press fitted, but this crank is also threaded. And a problem with spinning this so much is that these gears will come off or get loose. And that's not good when you're trying to keep a constant speed when, you know, cranking something and these gears will come off or they'll get loose and this crank will hit them.
And after finishing my project, I came up with an idea of how I could improve this. Is here in the back, I have my copper coils. And one thing I think I could do to make this more efficient is adding smaller copper coils and adding more of them. Is these copper coils are quite large and I only have four magnets. So I, when I spin this, the, the coils are quite large and they spend more time going across the magnets. If they spent less time passing by a magnet, then that would create more oscillations in the AC current, which would then turn out to be a higher output voltage, which I think I can achieve this by changing this housing unit and putting more copper coils, which there will be smaller coils and there will be more of them. Overall, I can fit more on here. I can put more copper on this and I think I can result in a higher output. Another thing I could do is I could add more magnets on my circle here. And that would also decrease the amount of time that these copper coils are spent passing by a magnet. So here we are left with just the base of my my system here. And I'm already getting problems with this gear, like I mentioned a little while ago. That has been uh, most of the problems that I've had uh, with this project. It's been a great learning experience, but in, in the end, it, it worked out. But it was a whole bunch of fun making this project. I was just wanting to share it with all of you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.